the Shakespeare Memorial Lecture was made possible by a bequest to the then Faculty of Education and Social Work um, quite some years ago. And sadly for some years, it, it has lain dormant and we're, we're very happy that, that uh, it's been re-established. We're also absolutely delighted that John Bell creates patron could give this first um, reawakening of the Shakespeare Memorial Lecture. And I'm not going to take Hugh's thunder. I just wanted to say that John's generosity of spirit to the university at large, to the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences and the schools within and departments within, has just been amazing. He never has said no. He has given workshops to our students, countless lectures, lots of things for the alumni. So thank you, John, for once again being willing uh, to be here and thank you for what you're going to share with us now. Then comes my fit again. I had else been perfect, whole as the marble, founded as the rock, as broad and general as the casing air. But now I am cabined, cribbed, confined, bound in to saucy doubts and fears. Thou thinkst tis much that this contentious storm invades us to the skin. So tis to thee. But where the greater malady is fixed, the lesser is scarce felt. Thou'lt shun a bear. But if thy flight lay toward the raging sea, thou'lt meet the bear in the mouth. When the mind's free, the body's delicate. The tempest in my mind doth from my senses take all feeling else save what beats there filial ingratitude. Is it not as this mouth should tear this hand for lifting food to it? But I will punish home. No, I will weep no more. In such a night to shut me out, pour on, I will endure. I have of late, but wherefore I know not, lost all my mirth, Forgone all custom of exercises, and indeed it goes so heavily with my disposition that this goodly frame, the earth, seems to me a sterile promontory. This most excellent canopy, the air, look you, this brave o'erhanging firmament, this majestical roof fretted with golden fire, why, it appears no other thing to me than a foul, and pestilent congregation of vapours. What a piece of work is man. How noble in reason, how infinite in faculty, in form and moving, how express and admirable. In action, how like an angel. In apprehension, how like a god. The beauty of the world, the paragon of animals. And yet, to me, what is this quintessence of dust? Man delights not me, no, nor woman neither, though by your smiling you seem to say so. When we our betters see bearing our woes, we scarcely think our miseries our foes. Who alone suffers, suffers most in the mind, leaving free things and happy shows behind. But then the mind, much sufferance doth o'er skip when grief hath mates and bearing fellowship. To be or not to be, that is the question. <laughs> 